Today on Grantham. I can't see in this thing. Today on Grantham. Do these work? Actually, I have no idea. So, the Black Rifle podcast, they uh, ask a question Do these actually stop bullets? You know, you see these being used by a lot of. It's a nice way of saying this, Micah. Third world countries. Nice. And <laughs> it's nice. And, uh, you know, I just don't know if they work. You know, when I look at this, what's interesting about it is when you have this face mask on, you can't wear a helmet. So it's kind of pretty much saying, you know, if I can't live without my face, I don't want to live at all, which I respect, to be honest. So today on Grantham, we're going to shoot this and see if it actually freaking works. Okay guys, but of course the biggest sponsor of the channel right now is Brandells. We want to give them a big thank you. It's very based. Thank you Brandells and of course the sponsor of this particular video is Now this video is sponsored by Current. It is a Visa card and they are doing some pretty cool things and shaking some things up. A big thank you to them for sponsoring this particular video. Now, with your Current card, a couple cool things you get. You get overdraft protection up to $100. You get Awesome points back up to 15 times depending on the type of purchase that you're making. You can of course get paid two days faster when you're using your current card. There are over 40,000 locations at fee-free ATMs throughout the U.S. And finally, you can send and receive cash instantly between other current card users. So ladies and gentlemen, go ahead, check them out. Link is right below. A big thank you to Current. Let's get back into the video. Now that we've got that out of the way, Ladies, gentlemen, my often forgotten, most certainly not by me, Walter TT Olympias, welcome to the channel. Um, let's do a little setup and talk about uh, exactly what we're doing. If we're gonna be going down range, let's go ahead and let's point these weapons away from me. That kind of makes sense, right, Micah? Gun safety is important. Yeah, gun safety is important, Alec Baldwin. Is that too soon? Never too soon. Okay, so these are, uh, these face shields you see being used by a lot of people. I really don't think they're gonna stop anything. They are level 3A which according, <laughs> okay, so to be clear, a uh, level 3A should be able to stop a round from a 44 Magnum. There's no, I think it will stop it, but I think you'll die because I believe this will cave into your brain and just kill you anyhow. But in any case, to simulate the brains, we of course have our wonderful friends from Ballistic Dummy Labs have provided us with a couple of heads and these have brain matter, they have fluid, they have ballistic gelatin, they simulate heads pretty well as, as we've seen, a little bit violent. So we're gonna be, we have two of these. Um, I bought these myself from eBay. Um, that is where you get them. And uh, we're gonna try this out. There's, here's, okay. Let's talk about this for a second because I have predictions here. Very, very astute predictions. I believe we have right here, couple different weapons. So we have a 22. I believe it will stop a 22 and that you'll be able to walk away from it. We have a Glock with Norma ammunition. All the rest of the ammunition is Norma. Big thank you, Norma. They are a sponsor. Um, I believe that this will partially cave in the, the uh, face mask enough to probably kill you. We have a Heckler & Koch uh, USP 45 tactical with a suppressor on there because it looks badass. And uh, I'm 100% that you'll die if you're shot in the face with, with one of these. We have the 44 Magnum, which it should stop, which I don't believe it will. Um, we have another common weapon, which I think it should stop, uh, which is buckshot. We'll, we'll <laughs> I think it'll go through the eye hole and you're just dead, um, unless you're wearing pit vipers behind them. And then uh, we have an FAL because in South America, everybody and their mom has an FAL. So this is, if you're wearing a face mask, you're probably going to a situation where somebody has an FAL and it's just gonna smoke straight through. So what's, what, what's the point? So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and set this up and talk cheap ammunition is expensive, so we're gonna do this. So we're gonna go ahead and you can see, it has these nice little stretchy straps to <laughs> put this face shield on. Is this the same donor? Is this Kev? I've talked, we talked about this, please don't. Okay, that's, uh, that's fitted. You can come take a look. Uh, Oh nice, that looks really comfortable. Yeah, it looks really comfy. You really can't see a lot. And then also when you're moving, it's shifting around too. And 
I really don't know why anybody would use this. Like, it really makes no sense. Okay. <laughs> Let's shoot a 22 and see what happens. 22 caliber, shooting at the uh, left cheek. As is usual, I was too good of a shot, which is pretty typical for me. And I actually put the round too close to the eye, which apparently there wasn't a whole lot of armor there, which makes sense, honestly, right? You don't want a whole lot of armor around the eye. So it actually went through and just into the eye. It took a little, little umph out of it, but it, it smoked straight through. Great start. It's, uh, we're gonna do another shot, this time like lower on the cheek, and uh, hopefully it stops. Well, it's not looking really great. Let's go and let's pull this mask off. <laughs> I mean, he looks fine. He survived it, right? He definitely lost an eye, but I don't know if he's dead. Yeah, there's there's a round in his eye. But, you know, that was from before. Let's look on the inside. So you can see how it bulged it out. You can see that bulge right there. That's a good, I'm going to be honest, that's a good amount of deformation. I thought you were going to say that's a good bulge. <laughs> that's a good amount of deformation. Um, from just a 22. The 9 mil is gonna kill this guy. I mean, I'm curious to see if we shoot somewhere a little less towards the eye. Yeah, okay, let's try it. All right, we'll set up for the 9 mil. Glock 9 mil, Norma MHP. You ready? You can see precisely where the impact was. That was dead on. Yeah, I'm wondering if it deflected or if it let's, let's find out. <gasps> oh no! no way. Oh no! Not 3A at all! <laughs> it's a hollow point too, dude. It's not even an FMJ. Hey, really? Look at that deformation though, dude. That straight up broke his jaw. Yeah, he's not. I mean, but guess what? He's alive. Yeah, you couldn't see shit. That's probably why he got shot. Probably. Yo, look at that though. You see some teeth. Oh, it broke his teeth, dude. Look at that's gross. You see that? Yeah. Dude, that had to hurt. Let me try to fix his lip. Here you go, buddy. See, look at that. Good as new. He's fine, dude. 45? Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's going to stop it, actually. I just, I don't think it'll feel good in the forehead. Where do we shoot him? Is it 45 going to crack his skull? Yeah. Forehead. We're going. Forehead. USP 45. Are we ready? All right. On you. Okay. So right there is where the round impacted. Uh, and you can see the amount of deformation. Uh, you know what? Is he okay? Yeah. Oh no. Skull. Do you feel any like? Oh no. Yeah. Look. The back part of the skull looks like I had a crack in it. Uh, looks like we transferred some of that shock, and then let's. <laughs> that back face deformation. Uh, yeah. You know. That's yeah, a bad day, that's, dude. Wait. Yeah, that's rough. That's a rough day, but it's dude. It's okay because there was a pad right there. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Yeah. Pad, he's okay. Yo, do we do a... Uh, should we put a new mask on for the 44? Because it should stop a 44. Yeah. yeah. New mask. I, yeah, I say we shoot it right in the center. It should be the strongest, right? For the forehead? I don't know. All right, let's do it. <laughs> we have a brand new mask for a brand new day. This is rated to stop a 44 Magnum. And uh, we're going to find out. You know, and there's a possibility that uh, the fall maybe could have cracked the skull. I will concede that. So we have the Korth revolver, which is a $6,000 revolver for no reason. And uh, we're gonna be shooting 44 Magnum uh, at this mask. I can't imagine it going well in any way, shape or form. Speed bees, here we go.
that exited. No, <laughs> yeah, it did. You can see like, so this did fall, but the round split and looks like it went through the top of the skull there. Um, did it crack it? I mean, it also fell. Um, we see blood? Crack. That's at the base of the skull. I'm not sure if that's from the crack up there though. Um, 100% that uh, did exit. We could hear it exit. Did you hear that? Oh yeah. This Chinese armor is great, dude. Should we shoot it again? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Yep. All right, another shot, 44. See what happens. Because uh, I want to shoot the wish.com armor another time. Bender. Oh! Oh no! Oh, you were wrong! What, you think so? Yo, the, 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 the center was the weakest part! Oh. I don't think the center was a good place to hit it at all, Micah. Oh, yeah. I'm really scared to take this off, actually. Oh, oh no! Oh, bro. That pushed in so much. It did stop it. I'll give it that. 3A, okay. But, dude, look at that amount of back face deformation. You are dead, dude. Dude, in a high speed, tell them what they saw at the jaw. Dude, when it like dislocated. Dude, you are dead. That's that's gonna push your nose back into your brain, 100%. Like you're gone, you're gone, dude. Yeah, it's pretty Why, sick. why? People are like shrapnel. Sure, why not just move better without this? I wonder what the shotgun will do. I mean, the real question is, of any of these pistol calibers, which one did he survive? I mean, the 22 went through the eyeball. Dude, I guess it just depends on where you're hit. I, I suppose, theoretically, you could have survived the 22 and 9 mil. Maybe. Maybe the 9 mil, depending on where. There's a lot of back face deformation. You know, I think we all thought the face armor was a great idea. Maybe next time we'll just do it better. Shotgun time with uh, buckshot. Nice buckshot, too. Yo, I think he might have survived it. No way, dude. Is he good? <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the wadding right there. That's a flight control. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. Just not great, dude. Oh, that went. So, you hear some pellets in there. Looks like we had one smoke through. Not too bad, Look, it did stop the brunt of it. I told you shotgun would work. He's fine, he's fine. All right, slug. <laughs> All right, here we go, you ready? Oh boy, on you. Oh. oh. No. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Listen, I watched the high speed. I don't think it's gonna be good. Oh. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Come take a look at that. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it went straight through, you could see. But I mean, at the same time, we have shot this a few times, you know, uh, kind of expect it, but uh, that was pretty devastating. You know, the thing has been brought up as well. You know, could you survive the nine mil and stuff? Like, the, I know it's not going through, but you have to understand armor fails not on penetration, but back face deformation as well. And the back face deformation on these guys is really bad. So, uh, since I'm, I don't know. Yeah. To call something level 3A, it also has to meet a deformation. It has to meet standard. a, it doesn't, it, it's more than just stopping armor. It has to meet that back face deformation. You have to understand how dead you are. And it's far from meets that. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, Chinese helmets. It will stop the round. However, it will deform into your brain and kill you still. So what's the point? It has to be able to meet those standards. Otherwise, 
is shit armor. This is shit armor, to be clear. Shit armor. Hope you bleep that out. All right, FAL. If you're somewhere where it's important enough to wear a face shield like that, you're probably in a country where everyone has an FAL because that's just the way the world works. And so uh, we're gonna fire a 7.62 by 5.1 round uh, into that face shield and I'm 100% sure it'll kill it because it's, it's just 3A. I'm just trying to point out that this armor doesn't make any sense. Wear a helmet if you gotta do something. All right, here we go. <laughs> Violence. That was a very clean... <laughs> It's very clean through and through. Uh, you are very dead at that point. Um, obviously smoked, got blood on me again. Smoked straight through. The whole point of this is, will these stop rounds that they're meant to stop? Yes. Are they going to keep you from dying? No. So do these work? Answer, no. Don't buy them. This is cringe LARPing gear. Here's the thing guys. What's important is training. Make sure that you get training out there because otherwise you're just gonna be dead. Don't do gimmicky stuff. Train, have a good foundation. Tons of great guys help with training. Bear Solutions, Travis Haley, probably my dad. Cogworks, Pat McNamara. Get out there, train, become the weapon. That's what's going to matter. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and uh, I've got nothing else for you. Final thing for you guys. Buy things that are good. There's lots of good armor out there from LTC to RMA to HESCO with the correct plates. Make sure that you save up for the correct armor and you don't buy gimmicky shit. Don't die.